I got seafood Les Clements Black Dragon Kung Fu. Thanks for watching. So this video is about the manipulation of space and range and how to turn escapes into attacks. So it's a concept I call defining where we are. So let's say hypothetically you have a person who's walking up to you that you don't know. Maybe it's a salesman who just doesn't understand personal boundaries. Maybe it's a person with negative willful intent. Either way, you see someone walking towards you, right? This defines where we're at. Most people, when you do this, will stop. Nobody's gonna keep walking right into a hand. You can aim it at the face. Just let someone know, back it up. I don't know you, what do you need? See? So this is always much better than any type of attack because it may be someone just asking for directions. So we're gonna step back, never get nose to nose with anyone before a fight. Pre-fight adjustment rule number one, never get nose to nose with an opponent before a fight because it's going to solidify and guarantee a fight. So we have to do the opposite. So someone tries to get nose to nose with you to intimidate you. We're gonna go back, the hand comes up. Now, if they really wanna put the pressure on, they're gonna to have to move that hand and define whether or not we're in a fight. So right, I step back, I triangulate, look back to the left, look back to the right. All in an instant, look back, look right. What do you need? See, now this is if it's someone threatening someone who looks mysterious, someone who comes, maybe they step out of the bushes at the park and they're walking toward you, something like that. Now you see a little old lady walking up on you, you know, it's a little bit different, you know, and if you think that if a little old lady is gonna walk up and you're gonna go, hey, what do you need? Especially if she's got a walk or something, I want you to give yourself another one of those viper chokes, take a nap, that's not what we mean, right? Okay, aggressive opponents, it could be deemed a threat. Step back, okay? So, what happens if they keep coming? Well, yes, you are in a fight, but do you wanna turn your back? I don't like to turn my back on someone who's walking at me, and I don't like to look straight back. So you can take a few more steps back, and if they're still coming after a few more steps back, Depends how far away you are from your vehicle, whatever, but you take a risk if you start to run. Because if you're walking and they're walking the same speed as you, chances are if you run, they're gonna run. And if you get tired and they catch you and they're bigger or stronger, you're gonna be in a mess. So we have to eliminate this threat right away. So the concept of the dragon bolt, which is what I use, is the ability to, eat, to turn and run, and if they chase, to turn back and fortify. So we're gonna appear like we're running away, but we're gonna be turning into an attack with the expectation of sucking our opponent into this vacuum overextending itself, okay? Because if someone is walking you quickly and they're trying to move this hand, see? They're trying to grab that hand, move that hand, you're in a fight. So we're not gonna give them this hand, we're gonna move. Okay, see his heel is gonna come up. I'm gonna turn, I have this. If they're in line, that line of attack, let them have it. Slash, slash, hammer fist, one, two. Dragon legs with the hammer fist, right? Here we go. Okay, just spin. So it's set up, the dragon and the snake will keep going. So they hit one, two. They can still keep going that same direction because of the climb. See, they can even kick out of that climb. Now it's usually not gonna be a high kick. It's gonna be a lower kick aimed at the calf or the femur with that heel and that type of spin. And if it's timed right, it could be like a boat paddle. <laughs> Serious damage, okay? So, escaping with a dragon's bolt. Escaping into our attack. Here we go. 
I'm right here, heel up, fold. See the hands? Because I'm looking. There might be more opponents, so I don't want to do this. Hit in the back, I look. Even so, when I step here, I'm going this way. I'm moving away so there's a split second where the eyes cannot see, but you're creating space and it's only a very short amount of time, followed by two attacks. So if I wasn't creating space, I would be concerned. Wing Chun will stuff that, but an open field, you run out of room, become overextended. So the technique there is not to chase this type of technique because that's what it's made for. All right, one last time. Stepping away, turn, striking, one, two, three. Or maybe with the kick. All right, snake, dragon, escapes, into attacks. If you found this informative, informative or helpful, click the like button. Even better, subscribe. All right, see you, Les Clements. Out.